tutorial on the bread machine today for your friend Julie. First, when you get the bread machine, you're going to take the basket out of the bread machine. Today we're using a Magic Chef. Uh, I've had a lot of luck with this and we're going to go putting the ingredients in here. Start off with liquids. These have all been pre-measured using the cup. Okay, next we're going to put oil. Okay, oil in this particular, um, the fat in the bread gives it the softness. So next we're gonna add sugar, okay? The sugar is the ingredient that fills, that uh, feeds the yeast, okay? Next we're gonna put salt. Salt is the one that regulates how fast the yeast will uh, work. So we wanna always put salt in there. Even if it's a little bit, the salt will, uh, add flavor at the end. So we're going to put that in there. Next, we're going to put the flour. Two and a quarter cups of flour. Okay, so it's very important that you put in the ingredients in the order that it's stated on the recipe. Also, you want to make sure that you use fresh ingredients. Fresh is always better. So we're going to finish with the flour. So I've added the flour and going in order, yeast would be next. At this stage in the game, this is where you would want to make your own characteristic to your bread, your own flavor, your whatever profile you want. Today, I'm using some fresh basil that was out in our garden. So, and I went and picked the buds off of the basil because people don't know this, but those buds off the basil make a good ingredient in the bread or top of a salad, okay? And so I'm going to next put the basil in. All the ingredients are in. Going into the bread machine. So it's already on the normal bread making mode. And all we're going to do right now is just hit start. If you see me shaking like we're in San Francisco, it's because the bread machine is working, okay? But Julie, right now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something the old fashioned way. I'm gonna make it by hand, okay? This is ciabatta bread that has been proved three times. And what I wanna do is shape it out into a rectangle. some basil all around it. Beautiful basil. I'm still smelling it and we chopped it up half an hour ago. Okay. So what I want to do is I put this into a rectangle and start a like a it's called I only know it as a baguette fold. When I was coming up in, in the business and working this was how we made the baguettes until they came up with the machines in the bakeries, okay? Roll this all the way to the end and pinch it. I'm gonna pinch it. And finish the roll. Board gets a little sticky, go ahead and add a little bit more flour to it. That's all right. So, right now, we're going to shape it, and it's going to, you're going to want to put some flour on your board or wherever you're going to proof it at. Okay. 
You can cut the ends off if you want to, but why? It's all bread. It's all fresh. Why would you want to have any scraps? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in three or four pieces. All right, I've got a scraper. You can use a bench knife, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to divide this. It's going to be equal pieces. It's going to be like a sandwich bun. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to push it in half. And half again. And half again. And that is for each ciabatta. You don't want to handle it too much. Just push it over there. And leave enough space for it to proof. And go right here. Make sure you got enough flour because you're going to have to move these. This, we're going to leave this to proof for 45 minutes. Okay? And then in 45 minutes, we're going to put it into a preheated oven of about 475. Well, we just pulled the ciabatta bread out and let me just go through the instructions with you after we proofed it. You saw the proof. We put them in the oven and we did it at 450 degrees for 10 minutes. And then we did, and, and when we put them in the first time, we sprayed the oven completely to create some steam. Then after that 10 minutes, we ran it for 14 minutes at 400. And we sprayed also at that time. And that's what's giving it the nice crust that you'll see. And it'll give the color that you see too. And that's it on the ciabatta. Okay, now we're going to have some lunch. And I was lucky enough to get a recipe from one of my chef friends. His egg salad, which is to die for. Okay, I can't give you the recipe, so don't ask. But... We're going to use this ciabatta bread to have us a sandwich. Thank you, Chef Michael. Thank you, Chef Michael. So the bread is done and we push stop. So that the timer is back to three zeros. Okay. Then we're going to lift this up. And we're going to take this out of here and put it on our cutting board. And there you go. We've let this cool down for about 15, 20 minutes and we're gonna make an attempt to see if it'll come out. Yes, it does. Okay. And there you go. A basil bread. From the bread machine. Wait 15 minutes before you cut it because if you don't it's going to get real doughy in the middle and it'll ruin the whole loaf. Okay so I know you want to but don't. I know you do. Don't do it Julie. Don't do it. So now we have done the bread and I just want to reiterate one more time is follow the recipe use fresh ingredients and use bread flour. All purpose won't make it light and fluffy. As an extra bonus, we're going to do a bread machine jelly, okay? What you're going to do is make, uh, wash your fruit, clean it, drain it, put it in the bread machine, and then you're going to push dough. Let it go five minutes, then stop, and hit bake, and let it work right through that cycle okay then you when that is done you're going to strain it through a food mill which is a two-part complicated machine or a wet jelly cloth and once you get that juice 
you're going to pour it into a measuring cup and you're going to fill the water once you get the juice. It might be three ounces, four ounces. Make your total liquid four cups. Then pour it into the bread machine and you're going to repeat the same process. Push dough, cook it five minutes, stop, push, bake, let it go through the cycle, and then you'll have a nice jelly. Okay, and now on the fruit, you can make whatever you want. You can make, um, you know, it feels like there's somebody looking over me. I don't know what it is, but you know, um, <laughs> when the jelly gets done, just let it cool and you can use whatever fruit you want. You don't have to just use, you know, we're famous for our blueberries out here. So you can use blueberry, you can use strawberries, you can use apple juice if you want. Just follow the processes that I've explained to you. And now I'm going to leave for the day until the next video. Thank you. Okay, Julie, there you go. I hope you have fun with your bread machine. Thank you.